Hi everyone, into this another video of the size separation. Today I am going to discuss about the separation of the size particles on the basis of the principle of sedimentation. Now let's try to understand what is sedimentation. Sedimentation is basically process of allowing the particles to settle down under the effect of gravity. Generally, sedimentation can be mathematically explained by the Stokes law and this Stokes law is highlighting the various factors or the parameters that is affecting the terminal velocity of the particle that is known as a V over here. Basically, the settling down of the particle is affected by the various factors or the parameters. The first one that is called as a eta that is called as the viscosity of the medium which is inversely proportional to the settling velocity of the particle. Then the density difference between the solid settling particles to the to that of the medium, so that is a rho p minus rho s, which is directly proportional to the terminal velocity, and the g as you are knowing that is the gravitational acceleration constant, and the d that is the d is the diameter of the settling particle. Generally, the terminal velocity of the particle is directly proportional to the square of the diameter of the settling particles. Here, the particle size separation that is taking place by the sedimentation that is done by the instrument which is known as a pipette method that is by the instrument which is known as Anderson pipette into which the first we are preparing the one of the two percent the suspension of the given solution and we are placing into the vessel. After placing into the vessel, we are just plug the vessel with the stopper and there we are checking for the sometimes and after that a pipette known as Anderson pipette which is inserted into the vessel and after that we are allowing to separate 10 ml of the samples the different sample time intervals and after that whatever the samples which are going to be taken out we are evaporated and wait for the constant weight and the particle size is calculated by using the Stokes law. Let's try to understand this particular thing by this uh, animation video. Here it is shown here there we prepared that the homogeneous suspension and we kept it at 27 degrees centigrade for the one hour and after that we are just plugging it and we are checking it very well so that the particles are going to be mixed very well and after the shaking it very well we are allowing this homogeneous suspension into which to to rest and it is kept at the constant temperature part of 27 degrees celsius and into which the pipette which is known as anderson pipette which is going to be introduced after a particular period of the time interval here, as soon as the diagram, the bigger particles are going to be settled down very fast compared to the medium size and then followed by the having the low particle size. So here it is explained that the V is directly proportional to the D square. From this homogeneous suspension, after a particular time period, we are going to take out a particular desired volume of the sample. Let's say the first sample we are taking after the two minutes. So we are taking out that particular sample. Okay, and then we are lowering the pipette for the 20 seconds before the sample is going to be taken. And after that, we are just writing down that's a time is t is that's two minutes and that's h e h e is the height that is 100 millimeter in this case. And we want to find out because we know the viscosity and the density of the settling particles as well as the medium. We are able to find out the diameter of the particle very easily. What are the samples which are taken from that Anderson pipette? They are going to be taken out. They are going to be transferred into a particular measuring vessel. And, and then we are just adding some of the distilled water to clear the particles which are going to be either inside of the vessel and then it is that entire sample is going to be kept at the temperature of 105 to 110 degrees celsius for the 24 hours into the oven and after that what is the dried weight is that that is going to be weight let's say the weight dry of the sample after a particular time interval that is w dry let's say weight of the total in the suspension is w total the weight of the dispersing agent is w dispersing agent and the dry this is w dry so these are the total and then by this particular formula we try to find out that's he upon t that is basically nothing but the v that is the volume velocity of the settling particles which is find out from the v in this case let's say we prefer the 1000 ml so the v is going to be the 1000 ml the weight of the particle of the dispersing agent if we have added let's say they are taken and the volume which is occupied they are taken by the v and the volume that is 
Okay, so this B pipette that is from which in this case the total volume is 1000 ml and the volume of the pipette that was 10 ml. And by this using this different formulas, we are able to find out the weight of the solid in the suspension, weight of the particles of the dispensing agent, and finally the percentage of the fines final that can be found out by using this particular formula into which it is shown in the terms of the diagram. Then in the denominator, this represents the total number of particles having the different particle size will be there. While in the numerator, we are taking the diameter of the particles after a particular time interval. So the percentage final percentage fine of the particles find out by the W dry divided by the volume of pipette and which is going to divide by the W total divided by the total volume and multiply with the 100. If you look at the advantages of this particular Anderson pipette, it is simple and inexpensive. It provides accurate the reproducible result with the wide range of the particle size. But the disadvantages are that sometimes the larger particles they are creating the turbulence. Temperature control is also essential. Sometimes the particles are going to be grouped together and they form the aggregation of the clumping. So the particle reaggregation is also required. And it is not it is generally suitable only for the particles which are having the less solubility into the particular medium only.